In this episode of Sailing Dark Angel, we explore the wild side of Thomas Key, from the calm and quiet anchorage to the steep, jagged hills and pounding waves of the other side of the island. Come and find a private beach with us. Don't forget your rock climbing footwear. If you like our videos, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. It's free for you and really helps our channel. power washer to spray off the salt on the solar panels. So I'm going to go and get the rest of the water off there. Squeegee power! Would you jump off of this? See the edge is there. There's nowhere to stand really on the edge unless it's through the, the center part mm -hmm. right here. Or the outside edges. It's just getting to the outside edges. That's the scary part. Yeah, because if you fall, you land yeah. in the boat. And this, this is kind of like, because it's a little bit wet from the earlier spray down that you did, that it's kind of slippery. But you can see the current on the, on the bridle. See Our it? anchor chain goes out this way and then turns around and comes back and back and forth to right there. And back and forth. There's our anchor. All right, right behind us is some trails going to the beach on the far side, on the bank side. The so we're going to go check it out. To the beach. Thomas Key on the beach. Lisa's out on her new paddleboard for the first time. This is going to be a real short video because I'm grabbing mine right there and I'm jumping in. I'm not sure if what I hear is this thing moving through the water or air bubbles escaping. So how's that paddleboard compared to this one? Night and day. Really? Yeah. Nice and stable? Oh yeah. Can't you tell by my posture? Yeah, you're standing straight up. <laughs> After you, sir. Yeah, you just want to get me on film. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Boys on film. On the one hand, you want to be tucked in close to shore because it gives you lots of shelter from the current and the tides and the winds and the waves and the so forth. On the other, the closer you are to shore, the more buggy it is. Okay. Somebody actually marked the path with some conch shells. I think Which that's pretty nice, cool. Which is nice, but I'm not walking through the spider webs. You are. All right. Well, this is interesting. What the? Okay. So, <laughs> I don't know where to go to from here. This wasn't the big beach I was thinking of. No. How do we get over there, Captain Dave? I don't know. This doesn't look as promising as I thought. Well, maybe we gotta find another path. I wonder what, what lives about, in there. What about. What's that?
sort of kind of a path. This looks better. Okay. Definitely a path. Yeah, we're exploring. Me too. Me too. Yes, it does. Sure. I think we should walk down this way and just take a look at that. There's the cut to come in. That's probably the direction we'll go when we go to Staniel Key. We'll come out this cut and then go down to Rock Cut. I think it's called Rock Cut. I'm wearing the correct shoes instead of flip flops. Oh. <laughs> Look at the color. Be cool to bring that back to the boat, but. Do you want to? I don't think it's allowed. your fins let's check this out
you think? It's dicey. It does, doesn't it? Just no falling. Oh, I'm so glad I'm wearing these shoes. Sometimes you just gotta go up the backside. Be careful. Yeah. One loose step. Yep. And the boat loses her namesake. Same goes for you. I'm not her namesake. We didn't call her sweet and innocent. Ha! Ha ha! Ha! Don't make me laugh so hard while I'm trying to rock mine. like this I'm so glad what well, the flip-flops are fine last year oh my god I think I almost died like 10 million times in those flip-flops I would not recommend our rock climbing flip-flops for rock climbing All right, 
All the GoPros are now officially acting weird. This 10 is refusing to respond to button pushes. But this is a gorgeous place, so I hope this footage is turning out. It's pretty cool. This beach is completely tucked away. How cool is that coming in? dead anchorage yesterday with just us and calm and quiet no wind no current this turned into lots of current two jet skis a catamaran a catch two dinghies and a paddleboard about to be joined by another paddleboard uh-oh got to see it. Anchor check. How far do you have to swim to check your anchor? It actually looks like it's dug in pretty good now. We have a hard time with the Manta anchor in grass because the bar tends to plow instead of allowing the flukes to dig in. But it still looks pretty good. It's in about seven feet of water. You see the chain coming all the way around. And back to the boat. Pipe Creek nearing sunset. There's Thomas Key. Pretty. Done. Compass key sunset, baby. 